Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's full salon guide called Innovation That Excites, which wants you to own and drive the 2010 Nissan 370Z to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, we'll get stuck in. So this is the 2010 Nissan 370Z and it will set you back 40,000 credits from the auto show if you don't already own it. Now, I'm skipping the tune for now and I'll show you why. The first challenge here wants you to spend 10,000 credits on upgrades. So the easiest way to do this is a drivetrain swap. Simple, 10,000 credits, job's done. Or you can spend a bit more time tuning it, which is what I've done in preparation for the next couple of challenges. Now, like I said, there's lots of ways you can do it. You can just jump straight in with an engine swap or all-wheel drive. It's entirely down to yourself. However, I have created a tune for it now. It's called Forzathon and the share code is there on your screen and hopefully it should help you out with the next two challenges. Challenge, and it will definitely cost more than 10,000 credits whether that counts towards a challenge but I don't think it does now the first challenge here wants you to earn 200,000 points at drift zones now if you're not too great at drifting I recommend heading to the main massive drift zone at the bottom of Caldera Volcano Whereas if you're a bit more proficient, I opted for the Reservoir Drift Zone, but I'd recommend doing a Drift Zone that's got around 200,000 points for the three star target like I said, do a longer one if you're not too proficient as you get a bit more time to mess around and do your drifting. Whereas if you're a bit more proficient and you want to get it done as quickly as possible, pick one that's got a three star score around 200,000 points and you should smash it. Now, the last one wants you to be any rivals ghost. So to do this, you go to the online tab and then into rivals, then pick horizon rivals. And then you can pick which race category you want. Depends on what race you want to do, really. I opted for road racing and then specifically the Arch of Mulehay circuit because that's one I know best you guys can pick whichever one you want but i'd recommend doing a circuit you know best now obviously then you pick the car the car car class that you are in so for me it's a class and then if you wait a second it will pop up with a rival's time in the corner you hit y and you can filter through to pick people who are slower so i opted for my friends list and found someone who was quite a bit slower than a time that i've already completed in a different car so i knew that i could beat it now don't be worried if you don't beat them on the first lap because obviously most of the time they will start off um, by already have completed a lap so they'll cross the finish line slash start line at a high top speed obviously you'll start from naught uh, sometimes you can catch them up and come in first place other times it might take until the second second lap so don't be too put off if you're not winning on the first lap because obviously you'll start off really quick when you progress to your second lap Apart from that though, it's quite easy, just providing you make sure whatever tune you're using you're comfortable with, so preferably something that's not at the lower end of a class, i.e. at the bottom end of S1 for example, make sure you're nearer the higher end and it should make life a lot easier. And then of course picking a target score that is a lot slower than a time that potentially you've previously posted or a time that you know you can beat. Uh, but apart from that, it's fairly easy to be honest. So hopefully this guide has helped you out with these challenges, but if you are struggling with any of them, then let me know down below in the comments. Of course, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, if this video did help and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and of course dropping a like would massively help me out as well. But apart from that folks, I wanna thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.